Welcome back everybody, Cody McIntyre here again from Boss Poses 3D and today I'm going to be showing you how to split any model very easily, okay? So I got my STL for 3D printing right here imported and what I'm actually going to do now is de-highlight that, go to Mesh, Plane. I'm going to get my plane, I'm going to stretch my plane up, I'm going to move it over, I'm just going to place it wherever I want. Now what you can actually do is go into Subdivision and you can actually start subdividing this and bending it around all the points that you want to like keep so if you wanted to you could go around the elbow like that and just keep the arm at a pin like an action figure but for this case we're just going to do it just normally just to get you know your feet on the ground with it so the next thing what we're going to do is come over to the side we're going to click the little wrench and we're going to add a solidify modifier this is already solidified now you can see it added a little bit of thickness what we're going to do now is apply it over here at the side and make sure you have the boolean tool. It is a default little add-on you can enable in your uh, prefences panel. You'll just type bool tool and you should see it, check mark it, and then you'll have the following commands available. Okay, so now that we have our solidified plane right here, I want to cut them about right in half. So what I'm actually going to do is make sure I have my plane selected first. I'm going to hold shift, click my model, and then I'm going to press shift, control, and then minus on the numpad. And then what I'm actually going to do is just wait for this to finish processing and then you're going to notice that it's going to split the model. Okay, now as you see that we have a good cut right here inside of our model. We got a little bit of a hiccup here on the uh, knuckle, but that's easily fixable. So what you can actually do now is go into edit mode, hit P, and then buy loose parts. And then what we have now is a completely separated uh, part to our figure. And as you see, it is completely solid we could add an action figure pin in there but that's pretty much how you do that you can cut them all around into his little joints and stuff you can make the coolest little action figures so if you all like today's tutorial please do like and subscribe on the channel i'll be back for more and thank you all have a good day